Hi, I hope you are doing well. What makes retell lecture, repeat sentence, write from dictation, and summarize spoken text the most difficult and challenging tasks in your test? And you all know that if you don't do well in those tasks, it's very unlikely to get your desired score, whether it was 79+, plus, 65+, plus, or even 50+. Plus. And it is very essential to identify the main reason so that we can come up with a very efficient solution. To answer this question, let's talk some linguistics. When it comes to any language, we are, like the people, can receive the language and produce it. If I want to receive the language or if I want to receive a message, I can do so by listening or reading. Like I can either listen to the message or I can just read a note and I get the message. So we have two sub-skills under the receiving skills and they are listening and reading. On the other hand, if I need to produce a message, I can do so by two things. Either by speaking, I just say it verbally, or by writing. So under the producing skills, we have two sub-skills that are speaking and writing. Hold on. The four modules that you are tested against in PTE are listening, reading, speaking, and writing. Here we go. Those are the four sub-skills. So when it comes to the PTE test, how many tasks do we have? Yes, we do have 20 tasks. Some of them do test one skill only. For example, writing essay, what does it test? It tests the writing skill. And that's why I believe writing essay is one of the easiest tasks, because it's only one skill that is being tested. Or select missing word, what skill does it test? One skill only, the listening skill, you are receiving the language. And that's why select missing word is an easy task and it doesn't have much contribution. All right, sounds cool. Let's go to repeat sentence. What skills does repeat sentence test? You first have to listen, like you have to receive the language by listening. That's skill number one. And immediately what you have to do is speak. You have to produce the language. So when it comes to repeat sentence, you have to listen and speak, receive and produce. So, the fact that repeat sentence is testing to skills makes it a difficult task and a very important task when it comes to the contribution. We are looking at 20 plus points to the listening and speaking modules. Let's look at write from dictation. What skills does it test? You have to listen first, then you have to write. So we have two sub-skills, listening and writing. Sign for summarized spoken text. You have to listen, then you have to write. Same goes for retail lecture. You have to listen, then you have to speak. So we have something in common for those four tasks, which is listening. In all of them, you must listen. And if you don't listen well, you can't speak. If you don't listen well, you can't write. And here is my answer for the question that I did ask at the beginning of the video. What makes retail lecture, repeat sentence, write from dictation and repeat sentence? the most difficult tasks, the poor listening skills that you might have. You aren't able to receive the language. As long as you can't receive it, you can't express it either by speaking or by writing. So the solution is not the template, not everyday practice, even though practice is very essential and vital, but the main solution is get a better listening skills. You have to improve your listening skills. Then later the template will be something easy to implement, then the practice later will be making sense for you, and so on. In today's video, I'm not giving any tip for developing your listening skills. However, I might give this in the coming videos, and I'm already giving it in the workshops that I conduct every Saturday and Sunday. I hope you enjoyed this video, and one more time before I say thank you, please work on your listening skills. Thank you so much.